steamed seafood and basmati rice. Welcome back to Rookie Cooks. My name is Rookie and today I'm joined by my lovely friend, Mario Musa. Hi guys! Who is, as far as I'm concerned, the best fashion and makeup vlogger <laughs> at the moment. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'd love to take you on that. Thank you. I'm actually excited to do this. So I've got around four and a half cups of rice. This will be enough to serve around three to four people. Two lobster tails and tiger prawns. This is so much. I've never seen a lobster shell like fresh before. So, oh, yeah. no, I've never seen it fresh. It's always cooked. Ah, yeah, I know Mario loves lobster, so I deliberately added that in there for you. We've got two sweet peppers, one red, one green. You can use any colour that you want. We've got a lemon. We're going to use two cloves of garlic, some chilli. You like spicy food, right? Yeah, that's what I remember. Okay, great. Some bay leaves, chicken stock cube, an onion. Seasoning wise, very simple with the seasonings today. So we've got some dried rosemary, some curry powder. You can either use mild or hot curry powder, but I'm going to use some mild today since we have some chilies. Um, pink Himalayan salt, which is just my favorite salt to use. You can use anything that you want. And some ground black pepper. Oil wise, I just use vegetable oil, but use any oil that you prefer. Okay, so let's get started. Mary, you're going to be chopping for me, so you're going to be my sous chef. Okay. So, you're just going to slice up the sweet peppers for me into okay. just long, thin strips. Okay. No, kind of like if you're making fajitas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, just right. medium sized, thin strips. Same thing with the onion as well. Okay. With the chili, add however much you want. You know, I have a high tolerance for chili, so okay, cool. add whatever you feel comfortable with. And then two cloves of garlic. Okay, cool. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Okay, so okay. We're gonna... you usually cut upside down? Okay, so should I, should I start doing yeah, it for you? Yeah, because I always cut, oh, right. I always cut it like this. You can literally cut it any way you want. It doesn't actually matter. Yeah. Just so long as you get the seeds out. And then just... Oh, you cut it that way. How do you cut it? The other like... way? What, like this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean you can, but it's oh, just easier this is way. Is it? Because it's moving. Yeah, because that's how, like, when I do my onions, I always yeah, do no. it that way. No, onions can go there because oh, you've got stuff in the onions. There. But if you do it like that, it just I just add, yeah, whatever you feel most oh, comfortable okay. doing. So just like that. <laughs> right, so that's the things up. How are you doing? I mean, I think I'm all right, but I'm they're really neat, so that's oh, good. Thanks. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop up the lobster tails because I want them to cook equal time. Where do you find your shrimp from? Because obviously, I think when I think of dishes like this, it's very elite. Like you have to know where to get the shrimps and stuff like that from. It's not just your, when, I would think of the standard going into like Tesco and whatnot and getting. You'll be surprised. So you can actually buy like lobster tails from like your local supermarkets. Yeah. A lot of them do also have tiger prawns as well. Really? But with my seafood, I tend to buy it from the fishmongers. You get better value for money there anyway. Would you say the quality is a bit better as well? Or it's fresher. It... Okay. Yeah, so it tends to be fresh opposed to frozen. So it just really depends on what your preference is. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add in one teaspoon of black pepper. So I've just added in half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to go ahead and add in half a teaspoon of some curry powder and one teaspoon of rosemary. Do you know what's so weird? I've got told, right, that you should put a spoon in your mouth when you cut onions. Yeah. Does it work? I tried it once, I feel like it works, but I'm crying now. I think it works for some people. <laughs> <laughs> it works for some people, it yeah. just does depend though. But it depends yeah. on how, I think also how um, recently you bought the onions, how fresh they are as well. Yeah. It determines how like strong the, the scent is. This dish is quite quick to cook because seafood cooks very quickly. So I'm going to start the rice boiling now. So I'm going to go ahead and add my rice in. The rice has been washed now. I'm just going to add a sprinkle of salt. You always want to make sure that you season your rice, otherwise it's going to be very bland. I'm going to also add a tiny bit of oil, just because I don't want the rice to stick together. Okay. Then if you want to, give that a quick fork on for me. Yeah, so that's fine. You just put the fork on there. So I'm going to put the rice on to a medium heat. Okay, the aim is that we want it to steam, so we don't need the heat to be too high. What I also like to do is to steam the rice using a bit of foil on top before I put the lid on. Does it make it even better? Yeah, it's okay. it just keeps the steam in. Oh, okay, right. 
you see sometimes when you're boiling pasta and yeah. there's like bubbles and yeah, yeah. a lot so it's the steam escaping so we just put this lid on so that's that we're going to leave that to steam for maybe like 15 15 to 20 minutes okay right do you want to drink yes okay moving on to the sauce now okay so i'm going to put the frying pan on okay i'm going to put it on to a medium to high heat okay Add around a tablespoon of oil. Doesn't need to be too much in there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry the seafood first, okay. just to get a bit of colour okay. on it. So I'm gonna put those in the pan first, get a bit of colour, take it off because okay. I don't want it to overcook. Okay, because then that becomes too chewy. It becomes yeah, it's yeah, not, not as nice to eat. So cook that just to get a bit of colour on okay. it first. Then I'll go in and make our vegetables. Make the sauce and I'll add the seafood back in okay, cool. to steam it in the sauce. Okay. okay, so I don't need them to be perfectly cooked now, I just want to brown them off. Okay, a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to add. Oh, I love the sound of sizzling. sizzling right? You know that the food's cooking. Yeah. So I've cut them in pieces that will cook around the same amount of time anyway. Okay. So. Yeah, honestly, the smell that's coming out of this pot is crazy. It smells so good. How long do you do to do that one fry? So, like I said, I'm just going to brown these because I'm going to um, cook them through thoroughly mm -hmm. once I've made the sauce and allow it to steam in there just to absorb some of the flavour. Okay. So, I'd say around a minute and a half on each side just to get a bit of colour on it. Okay. You'll know when seafood is cooked because it will turn pink. Well, the shellfish anyway, like prawns and lobster tails. Oh, and that looks that so good. Yeah. You always taste it before, like test one. Um, no, not right now. I'm I mean, you know what I meant. <laughs> uh, yeah, once it's once it's cooked through. Yeah, it's yeah. Once the sauce okay. is done, then obviously it's best to taste along the way if you're ever unsure about the yeah. seasoning. If you've got enough seasoning in there, if you need any extra salt, just make sure that the protein that you're adding, anything yeah. that's raw, is cooked thoroughly first. I'm okay. going in. Get sick. Okay. So, what is your favourite go-to recipe? Go to meal now that you've been living alone. What's been like your favourite dish to make? Um, before I watched your Cajun like, shrimp pasta. Oh, did you like yeah, it? Yeah, probably nice. I loved it. Before that, I would make something like that, but we just pours like a is it tagliatelle? Yeah, yeah, because it, it was an easy recipe. So yeah. watching yours, I feel like it added something extra, added a bit more spice, a bit more flavouring. So that is something that's easy. Oh, and okay. I've, been, I've made it for. Yeah, it's special. And yeah, they like it. Yeah, they like that kind of thing. So yeah, so yeah, it's a good, quick and easy and easy one. To impress someone social, yeah, make my Asian dress. So I'm just gonna take these off now. We're gonna now fry off the onions and the garlic and the chili. So if you wanna add those into the pan, onions first, yeah. Why do we do the onions? I do it anyway, but just put them down. Oh, because it gets softer, in it? Yeah, I want them softer. And with the with the sweet peppers, I like them to be quite crunchy. So yeah, it depends on how I you like that, them um, I tend to find that when I overcook my sweet peppers, it's just not the same yeah. when it's a bit crunchy. Exactly, yeah. so that's why it ends up being the last thing that I add and on there. But then you don't need like crunchy onions Either. in your yeah. meal. So yeah. Okay. yeah, that's the reason it's run. So if we add that in, also add in the garlic. Yeah, the garlic and the chilli. Chop those really well, by the way. Oh, for thank someone you. who says they don't cook, yeah, I'm, you know, well, your prep is fantastic. I'm kidding it's easier than what I would be. Proud of you. Okay, so we're just going to give this a stir. So all the bits that you can see at the bottom of the pan, mm -hmm. by the time we add in our water, liquid, or oh, lift up, it's going to lift up and add to the sauce. You can see it's already starting to like um, get oiled up the onions now. It's going yeah. to start to look like it's cooking. Yeah, you'll know they're cooked because then onion, onions will then go translucent. Yeah, I'm just going to leave these to steam for around one minute. Okay. With the lid on. Doesn't really take too long. Right, so the onions are done. You will need to add yeah, the onions and add all of them. Yeah. In. yeah, all of them. Right. Yeah. I really wish that I was doing all this at uni, like, I was just never interested, I was just Miss Takeaway, Miss just Pasta, but I wish we'd I'd done it at uni, because you were doing all the stuff like this at uni. Yeah, but was yeah. fun though, that's yeah. why we were always going out. Cobb was a good time. I feel like Coventry is one of them unis where you should have gone, if you didn't go at the right time, you would never have experienced it the way that the people that went in our era went, it was just something yeah, else it was, it was good it was good i feel like uni is where you meet your lifelong friends and all stuff like that. i think you experience like hardships like when you're broke like at 
Ay, no, for the first time. Remember the whole thing? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I just wish I did more stuff like this. I was just cooking. cooking. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? It's never too late. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some boiling water. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what's so mad? Yeah. Like when I think of making sauce or stock, like I only like you wouldn't think. I would just think you need like the paste, a little bit of oil. But when I see stress, when I see just water, I'm thinking, how is this gonna become the sauce? Like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was my friend the other day. I think he made gravy and there was loads of water. And I was thinking, wait. <laughs> We have to water, but yeah. you don't realise that water is a big component for so much things. Right, if you go ahead and slice these this lemon for yes. me, just into um, ring. I'm gonna add in one chicken stock cube. So with the chicken stock and obviously with the lobster and the prawns, mm. um, is it just like a nice combination? So I would always feel like if I wasn't watching this with you and I was just thinking, okay, I'm gonna make like a sauce with lobster, I'd mm. put like. A fish cube, you know, you can get like a. Yeah, you fish. can do. You can. It literally just comes down to your preference. So, the yeah. with, when you're cooking, you can always add in what exactly what it is that you, that you like. like. So, whatever flavors that you like to taste when you're eating food, or like if you have that particular season that you like the taste of, you can always add them in. Because any of this is just to provide you with a guideline. Okay. Not necessarily like you must follow it word by word. This is just what I personally like to do. Okay. That I get a lot of compliments on, and yeah, I like to eat yeah. as well. So I'm then gonna go ahead and add in mm, it's just really good. one bay leaf. Okay. And then remember, we didn't cook the prawns and lobster all the way through, so I'm gonna add that in now. Okay. Just on the top, yeah. and you know what? It's just so straightforward. It's just very, very like, bum, 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 but bum. you would think it's difficult to yeah, make, right? Yeah, but it's yeah. not at all. And it's really quick and You think of lobster all this, you're like, oh, this is gonna be hard, but it's not. Exactly. So, if you wanna put some of the lemons on top, I'd say around, around five pieces of lemon, make sure the seeds are out as well. So I'm just gonna let that steam, so I'm gonna pop the lid back on. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. So we're gonna give it a quick stir. This looks very good. And you know what I like? Even though you put water in, it looks like, like a sauce. Like, it looks yeah. like a sauce you'd have. Yeah, it's very light, but full of flavor. Mm -hmm. Sauce, which is great, because you can have it with pasta, like I said. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to even just have this on its own, if you're avoiding trying to eat any carbohydrates, you can have it with potatoes. I feel like it's so universal. I love to eat steamed come up rice. You know when it's fresh rice, you're yeah. ready to eat. You're ready. Oh, yes. What are talking about? You know when someone sees that, you just know, yeah, I'm, they love me. Like, they care for me. Like, this meal, right? Yeah. <laughs> and look, what I've done. <laughs> and look how easy it was to make. I'm dying for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying for it. Wow. Well done. Oh, this yeah. looks spectacular. You ready to give it a taste? Oh, yeah. Do you want to start? Should we get the fraud? Or what's your favourite bit? What do you normally go for? Well, I've just taken a little bit of the lobster. <laughs> no, this is so good. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you, Marion, for coming. No, anytime. anytime. I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I want to know how you guys got on with this dish as well, so please make sure you send me through your pictures. Until next time. Cookie Rip. Rip. It's alright, you, you said see you next yeah. time. Yeah.